Hello Pisces, this is your love reading for now until July 4th. This is for Pisces Sun, Moon, Rising. Please keep in mind that this reading is for the collective, so it may not fully resonate with all Pisces. So if this message does fully resonate with you, please like the video, share the video, like the channel, give it a thumbs up, hit the notification bell for notification on more readings as they come out. If it does not fully resonate with you, feel free to check your um, other sign placements and see if there's any additional messages or clarification that you can find in those additional readings. If those do not resonate with you, please check out another fantastic tarot reader on YouTube. There's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of them. All right, Pisces, and I'm pretty sure that someone has a message specifically for you. All right, so let's get into it, Pisces. This is for Pisces, sun, moon, rising. This is for love now until July 4th. All right, cross watchers, feel free to switch the energies. All right. So, here we go. Overall energy is the three of earth, your person's energy, the nine of air, the ten of air, your energy, the ace of air, the seven of water, the energy between you two is the nine of water. Very interesting, Pisces. So, coming into the reading is the three of earth. All right, so this is the overall energy that that the two of you have. It's a three of earth. It's a sense of um, wanting to work together with somebody, teamwork, making the effort, like building a, a solid foundation with someone. All right, dedicated collaboration between you and someone else. Your person's energy is the nine of air and it moves along to the 10 of air. So, your person is trying to shift their negative, like self-talk, because that, that what you think, what you, what you focus, what you focus on is what grows. So, your person is trying to get out of this negative self-talk, like negative thinking, right? Um, trying to not be afraid of what could be, like trying to not be afraid of the possibilities, Getting out of their own head, you know, this this mental torture that they're causing themselves, this this causing them step themselves to be stuck mentally. They're getting out of that or trying to get out of that, and they are progressing to the ten, um, which is a graceful ending of the way that they used to think, the old way of thinking, and starting to think a new way, right? Hopeful beginnings, like. It's kind of where the the graceful end and the hopeful beginning meets. Your energy is the ace of air, and that's coupled with the seven of water. So you're in the energy of like something being like feeling like the the, the law of karma is at play for you, right? It's like it's like a that there's something powerful at work for you in regards to love you're feeling kind of confused but you're seeing you're probably seeing synchronicities 11 11 1 1 1 2 2 2 4 4 4 things like that you're seeing these synchronicities like there's a very powerful force at work for you that's that's working in the backgrounds for your greater for your highest good uh, in love you know the energy between the two of you is the nine of waters. So there's an energy of dreams coming true, wish fulfilled, like feeling, like enjoying something or feeling complete or, you know, content or things you desire emotionally. Okay. And, and so the, with the three of earth and the nine of waters together as the energies that you both are harnessing there's a 
like an energy of things like dreams coming true and, and feeling fulfilled emotionally and being grounded at the same time building a strong foundation with someone together this is probably what you both are are wanting in this moment you know but your your emotions you're feeling a little bit confused and there's like there's a strong energy that you feel the pull of this strong energy this this karma that's coming in pulling you pulling you or pushing you to do like a certain something you feel it and it has you confused emotionally for some reason but your person is you know getting and in, get into a better space mentally so that's a good thing let's get some more messages here Pisces. all right and this is for pisces sun moon rising now until july 4th what are the messages please what are the messages for the sign of pisces sun moon rising now until july 4th what are the love messages for the sign of pisces please last shuffle Thank you. All right. So overall energy is seven of fire. Your person has the ten of water with the love card. Your energy is the eight of fire with the three of air. The energy between the two of you is the emperor energy. Could be Leo. Could be Gemini. Okay. So coming in with the seven of fire as the overall energy and that's coupled with the um the emperor so there's like a energy of wanting to go the distance with one another you know we don't have to conform to the way people feel like it should be let's do what makes us happy if someone else doesn't like it we don't care it's kind of that type of of energy and with the emperor here you guys are standing firm in that you're standing firm in that okay and this is the energy that that you guys are sharing the, the both of you you know doing what makes the two of you happy you know your person has a ten of water so your person is well they have that coupled with um, love so your person is in an energy of just feeling really, like feeling this oneness, you know? This serenity, this peace, this oneness with you. This, like things are just good right now. Your person is feeling like things are just in a really good space right now. Right? Feeling like, like you guys are one sharing this experience together you so your person is in an energy of abundant love you have the eight of fire with the three of air so you are in an energy of like like you're feeling you're feeling it could be like a like a like something gaining momentum because you have you have the ace of air here and this is on top of the ace of air it could be a thing of like gaining momentum um and that's like i said the, the this powerful force that you're feeling that's at work like like something's faded or there's some form of destiny here and, and it could be gaining momentum. You also have the three of air. Excuse me. You also have the three of air. So it's like some, like, you have the three of air on top of the seven of waters. So it's like there's some kind of, uh, Like a sense of someone helping you to see the truth in a matter where you were feeling confused emotionally there's like a third party here that's helping you see the truth of the matter yeah it's like you're seeing the truth of the you see the truth where you were confused you're seeing the truth of the matter Hmm. So 
strange because that's total opposite from what your person of interest is feeling. Now, I got a hunch about what's going on here, but I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait and see if I'm right. But yeah, yeah, it's like you're 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 getting you're gaining some insight from a third person that's helping you to see the truth in a situation. It's giving some something's helping something or someone is helping bring forth clarity for you in a situation. And you're looking at you're looking at it as where it may hurt a little bit you're looking at it as you know what i didn't take a loss on anything my emotions didn't take a loss this is a win god is protecting me god is protecting me from something this rejection was god's protection type of situation and it's causing you to gain momentum or this faded event to gain momentum and i feel like um with it gaining momentum is it's like pushing you toward something pushing you toward something where you should be toward something that you should be going towards anyway tell us more please tell us more because we went from the overall energy of seven of fire to you having the eight of fire so it's a forward movement for you the eight of water and the eight of earth wanted to come out working on something diligently and moving past something that no longer um, is good for you emotionally walking away all right tell me more please for the sign of pisces what are the additional messages for the sign of pisces now until Ju july 4th in love what are the additional messages please Let me shuffle. thank you five of air wanted to come out if it's meant to be it will come out again Overall energy page of water. Your person has ten of earth. The ace of earth. Your energy is the messenger of earth. The page of fire. Energy between the two of you is the three of waters. Okay, so it's exactly what I was thinking. So, so Pisces. The, okay, so there, there's you. You are in a energy of this is a player energy that you're that you are that you have right now. There's definitely a third party involved, and this is on your end. This is your doing. Um, you have someone here. This person appears to be completely in love, um, feeling very grounded, feeling very abundant with you, wanting things to be like they're wanting this to get to this next level with you. It's very solid, you know, solidifying this relationship. Like this person getting over whatever this mental anguish that they were dealing with. And they're now ready to love you completely. They have two tens and they're the two good tens in the deck. The ten of earth, the ten of water, right? They also have the ten of air. Ten, ten, ten is at play for this person. Um, and they, so they're, they have endings and beginnings endings and beginnings in their life they're they're dealing with a lot this is very this is a lot for them to deal with but they're dealing with it they're dealing with it um and this person is wanting this like fresh new beginning you know in love with you this is the overall energy and i feel like you care about this person but you're you're not committed to this person you're not you're not committing yourself you are, there's, you're dealing with more than just this person. Yeah. You're dealing with more than just this person because there's three, three, three here. So there's three threes. There's definitely a third party at play. So 10, 10, 10 is significant for your person. Three, three, three is significant for you. Let's get more messages here. All right. What are the messages for the sign of Pisces? What are the messages? now until july 4th what is the messages in love for the sign of pisces all right overall energy message of fire your person has the three of fire and the two of fire you have the nine of earth and the five of water 
overall energy or the energy between the two of you is the strength card. Okay, so Pisces, you are definitely cheating on someone, okay? Or you're in a third party situation and you're the creator of the third party, okay? You're the creator. So what I'm seeing here with this message of messenger of fire is you being very stubborn, you know, very stubborn and the way that you're handling this is like you're going to do what you're going to do and you're not taking into consideration how this could affect the people that's involved with you, right? You're just, it's like this is a, this is like a player energy and you're just, you were already in this energy and, and you're getting even deeper into that energy. You don't care about how it affects other people. All you care about is what you want and you're very flighty. You're just, you know, the, you're on to the next new thing. This is great. Oh, it's not great anymore. On to the next new thing. This is great. Oh, it's not great anymore. On to the next new thing. That's the energy that you're in right now. Right? Your person is, they have the five of fire and the two of fire. So your, your person is like planning for the future with you. Your, your person is planning something. Like trying to plan this this future with you brainstorming, um, you know, taking your the differences that the two of you have and trying to look at them, you know, as a in, like in a united type of way, unity, and they're wanting to move forward with you. Is what they want to do, you know. They want to they want to be successful. Planning for the future, trusting the things that, like trusting the unknown. And they're just, they're like mapping out their, this plan, this life plan with you. They're mapping things out. This person is expecting a future. This person is expecting a future with you. You're in the nine of earth energy. Um, with the page of water. So you feel content with things being just the way it is. Like, you know, um, it's like you're, as far as you're concerned, you're single. You don't, you don't, you don't think of yourself in be, as being in a connection. You view yourself as single. Okay? And but this person is not viewing themselves as single. This person is viewing things as if they're in a connection with you. Yep. This person thinks that they're in a connection with you. This person, this person is like a gift. A gift to you from the divine but you're overlooking it like this person is a gift this person is a, a treasure but you're you're not you're not acknowledging that and so this push that we see back here where fate where the divine is pushing you into something this is what they're trying to push you in. This this abundant connection, this love, this true love connection. This is what they're trying to push you into. You're fighting it. You're overlooking it. You're overlooking it. And it's like... Um, you're feeling like you have everything that you want, but it's an illusion. It's an, You don't have everything that you need. You don't have everything that you want. It's all an illusion. And the fact that you can't look past this illusion that you're making up is going to stop you from getting from this 9 to the 10. Okay? Alright, so... We'll get one more message and then we'll get the potential outcome for you, Pisces. All right. What are the additional messages for the sign of Pisces? What are the additional messages? We're looking for the final messages in this reading. 
What is the final messages in this reading? What is the final messages for the sign of Pisces? Thank you. Okay, overall energy is the nine of fire. Your person's energy is the magician and the eight of water. Your energy is transformation. The eight of air, the energy between the two of you, is the queen of water. Okay, so... So, I do believe, let me see if I can find it. So, there was a sense of just like, you have the nine of fire. Okay, this is the overall energy between the two of you. So th there's this, there's this, this sense of uncertainty that's going to come into play. You have an extra card that came out too. We'll get to that. But there's a sense of uncertainty that's going to suddenly come into play because you're refusing to acknowledge this gift that the divine is trying to push you towards. The, the perm okay, so the, the. The Ace of Air that we've seen, right? The Ace of Air. That was destiny and fate. Like, that's supposed to happen. It's supposed to happen. It's the law of karma. It's supposed to happen. But you didn't allow it to happen, right? You, you blocked it. You blocked this, 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 this connection that the divine was trying to give to you. You you blocked it. So something's going to happen that's going to bring this overall energy of uncertainty and reevaluating, a constant reevaluating of the circumstances. Your person your person is going to they have the magician. And with the magician is coupled with the 8 of waters. So your person is going to um come into this energy of part like partnering with spirit right being enlightened about things that's going on that they didn't know of because you all came into this like your person was ready to just jump in they're trusting that everything was going to be okay with this three, through a fire to a fire they weren't investigating they were just trusting and just going with it okay but something you you didn't follow through on your part you didn't follow through on your part so your person is going to suddenly come into alignment with spirit's will and and like it's going to be a will and skill situation with your person your person is going to start to be like this partnership that they're going to gain with spirit because you didn't want to partner with spirit right here. You chose not to partner with, with spirit, right? It was your choice. You blocked this when they tried to partner with you. So your person is going to decide to partner with spirit, co-create like, like in, like in, like co-create like a, like a alchemical, alchemical type of relationship like alchemy like a like a like a relationship with spirit they're gonna begin to co-create with them and learn how to manifest and it's gonna what it's gonna do is um they're gonna have the sense of being enlightened knowing things that maybe they don't have to have, they don't have to see it in the physical to know. Do you get what I'm saying? They're going to get to that point because you didn't want to partner with spirit. But your person is going to accept that invitation when it comes through. Your partner is going to start being enlightened about things that you're doing or not doing. And it's going to cause them to want to walk away from, from this connection because it's no longer serving them emotionally. You have the transformation card, okay? Your person walking away, 
now that your person is walking away, now you want to change. Now, you know, you're going to be in this, this feeling of needing to evolve. Like life is going to begin to evolve because you didn't, you didn't listen when karma tried to greet you. So now you created a karmic debt because you didn't, when it partnered with you, you didn't want to do it. So now you're indebted to karma. And here's where you're going to start paying that debt. Instead of you letting things happen for your highest good and welcoming it, you blocked it. So you got to learn the lesson of how to let the divine, how to let karma do its job. That's the lesson that you're going to have to learn. The other lesson that you're going to learn is to get out of this, this page of fire, um, messenger of fire energy, this in and out, this player energy. You're going to have to get out of that energy because it's not for your highest good. You cannot manifest love if you're in that energy. And that's the other lesson that you're going to be called to learn. And it's not, you're not going to have a choice. So it's not going to be, oh, I don't want to. This time they're not giving you the choice. This time you're going to be forced into that transformation. Bringing forth, closing out the old you, the old way you think, the old way you do things, and bringing forth the new you, the higher functioning you, your higher self. Or with the aid of air, there's this sense of you, like it's going to cause you to release being in denial that you're not this way. You don't treat people that way. You're going to release that energy and see yourself for who you really are. And then growth is going to happen. And the healing that you deserve is going to come in. And you're going to say goodbye to the illusions that you have that clouds the way that you think or the way that you see things. It's all an illusion. And you're, that's all going to clear out. You're going to start seeing things very clearly because of this change that's going to come through. This change, you're, all of this is the change. Your, your person being enlightened, getting this eight of waters energy, walking away from something that long, no longer serves them, you recognizing that that person was the love of a lifetime that don't come by every day, it's going to spark a, a transformation within you because you chose not to partner with karma. So now you have a karmic debt. Now you owe them because they gave you something. They created this situation and you ruined it. It doesn't change the fact that this situation was created and you owe this debt now. You owe so you have to pay that debt because now this person's going to go through something that they shouldn't have to go through because of you. And so that's a debt that you're creating. You're hurting someone that they didn't bring this person into your life for you to hurt them. They brought this person into your life to make you better, to make them better, to partner with you so that you can have this happy, you know, happy situation in love. And you didn't do it the right way. So you created a debt. You owe karma back now. Because now it's karma that did this to this person. Trying to help you. And that's not how it was supposed to happen. So that's your karmic debt that you now have to pay back. Okay? Queen of Waters is here. So that's the energy between the two of you. It's the Queen of Water. So I feel like the Queen of Water is here because... This person is still going to have compassion for you. Like, this is a good person. Genuinely, they'll still have that compassion for you. You know, and all of that is that part. They're not going to be in love with you, per se. And that doesn't mean a second chance will not come into play. But this person is going to walk away. And they're still going to care about you in general. But this is, this is here because, see, this is looking at you. So this is looking at you and your transformation. This is the need for you to have self-love and self-care and become a healer because you were you were very karmic. You were operating as karma. Now you need to transform yourself and instead of being dark energy towards somebody, you need to be the light towards somebody. So you need to it's going to help you to have self-love and when you love self, you can't help but to love others and it's going to transform you and make you become a healer. Okay, Pisces. You're going to harness that healer energy, like it or not. 
All right. So let's see the additional. Oh, there it is. The additional messages for you is the moon card. So I feel like the moon card came out as a challenge for you. Now the moon card is about uh, things done in the dark coming to light, right? Things done in darkness coming to light. So now we understand why your person suddenly started having this revelation and, you know, feeling like they needed to reevaluate things and, you know, being, not being content was there that we seen. It was because of this challenge, which was the moon. Things in the darkness coming to light, which you were doing a lot of things in the dark and it came to light. That's what, why your person started feeling that way. Um, and that's when karma stepped in to help your person to be able to work through that because that was not the intent for your person to to end up feeling that that type of energy that was not the way it was supposed to go okay so let's get your your uh, potential outcome Pisces what is the potential outcome in this reading for the sign of Pisces Sun Moon rising now until July 4th Yes, July 4th. What is the potential outcome for the sign of Pisces? What is the potential outcome in love now through July 4th for the sign of Pisces in regards to this reading? What is the potential outcome? What is the potential outcome, please? What is the potential outcome, please? What is the potential outcome? Sign of Pisces. All right. Thank you. All right. Overall energy, king of fire. Your person's energy, three of water, transformation. Your energy, four of earth, and patience. The energy between the two of you, the five of water. So, coming into the potential outcome, we have the king of fire. So, this, this is about the, the overall energy that you guys will feel together. <sighs> It's definitely um, like, like I said, you're going to transform into a healer and you're going to be in this energy of feeling like, like you're going to be inspired to, like heal yourself, but then also come in and, and just Try to heal this whole situation. Not necessarily to bring it back together, but just because that's the right thing for you to do. It's, it's what you're, you're going to feel the need to do. It's the best way I can describe that. Your person is going to be in the three of waters energy, and that's coupled with transformation. So your person is going to experience a heartbreak. No, that's the three of swords. Your purse. Okay, so three of waters. So based off of this, okay, the th yes, okay, the three of water. So based off of this third party situation that your person is going to, the moon card secrets come into light that your person will find out about, that's going to spark the transformation. So that's, this is basically telling us this is what got that ball, that ball rolling. The moon card with those secrets come into light. You know, person found out about the third party situation that you had them in, and it sparked that transformation for them where they coupled or, or partnered with um, the divine and karma and began to enlighten themselves, things come to light, so on and so forth, like I said just moments ago. That's what this is all about. You're, you're the four of earth and the patience uh energy so you're gonna try to hold on you're gonna want to hold on to this person once you get through that transformation that you're facing you're gonna want to try to hold on to this person or hold on to this connection because you're gonna come into the realization that this is a good person that you had you know one that doesn't come by every day and you're gonna take ownership of everything that took place like you're taking ownership of what happened causing this five of waters energy between the two of you you're going to take ownership of that and then you're going to try to come in and heal you're going to try to so i seen it here and i see it here with patience you're going to come in and try to heal the situation 
Like your intentions will be pure at that point. It was very hard, but I was like, I this five of waters is, is the energy of trying to release grief, you know, allowing sadness to rise up and fall. Okay? Honoring the emotions and then working through them is what that's all about. All right? And you're going to you're going to try to help balance that out. Feeling like you know, you have to feel like that's part of your purpose. All right, let's let's get more more messages here for the potential outcome for the sign of Pisces now into July fourth. Tell me more, please. Tell me more. What is the potential outcome for the sign of Pisces for this reading in love now into July fourth? Will this be additional messages for the potential outcome? Potential outcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the quick messages. All right. We have the eight of earth. Overall energy. Your person has the ten of earth. And the full card. You have the three of fire. The four of fire. Energy between the two of you. Ten of fire. So, like I said, there's going to be, like, you're going to, you're going to try to work on things. Work on getting things back grounded. You know, trying to heal whatever, you know, uprooting and emotional damage that you caused. You're going to want to heal that or you're going to work diligently on trying to come in and heal that piece of it. Your person is going to be in the 10 of um, earth energy with the fool. So your person, it's going to be easy for you to help them heal that because as I stated in the main reading, they're not going to hold it against you. They're still going to have that love towards you. They're not going to want to be emotionally attached per se, but they will still have that that love you know, and compassion towards you. So with your person having the ten of earth and the fool card, this is your person basically becoming abundant with knowledge, uh, feeling more secure, you know, could be your person focusing on their pinnacle at this point and not necessarily wanting to, wanting to focus on love. And that's what that looks like is your person is going to take a leap uh, into, you know, deeper territory in regards to their pinnacle, you know, and building their wealth. Your energy is the three of fire, the three of fire to the four of fire, right? So what you're gonna be experiencing is, like you're gonna want to, you're gonna start feeling like some kind of, um, like you're gonna start feeling like moving towards your success as well. Feeling like, you know what, I did that, I got through that, I'm a better person because of it, I want to go towards, you know, my abundance at this point, you know, I need to trust myself and go, go get what I feel that I deserve at this point. Seeking what, seeking your heart's desires, because at that point you're going to start desiring this for a fire this uh like marriage uh, you know a, a, a happy union a, a very grounded stable union with somebody and your your back is to this person so i don't think you're going to pursue this person i think you're just going to move forward and try to co-create in another situation and relationship and to try to find your heart's desire there is what you're going to try to do. The Ten of Fire is the energy between the two of you. So yeah, this this energy, I mean, this this connection is going to, is it, it, you both are going to release this connection. It's going to end, right? This connection will end, and but it's going to clear out so that the both of you can have a new beginning. All right, that's what's going to happen with your outcome with this person that you're thinking of right now, Pisces. So I don't really necessarily feel the need to clarify this any further. I will see if we can get some, some.
some um, advice here for you. What is the advice messages for the sign of Pisces? Is there any advice messages for Pisces highest good? Is there any additional messages or any advice that you have for Pisces for their highest good? Three. Okay. Two. Last one, any additional messages for the sign of Pisces? All right. So your additional messages for you is the seven of earth and the six of water. Okay. So the seven of earth, the, and the, six, the seven of earth talks about like looking back on Like the seeds that you have sown, right? Looking back, it's like it's like um, with the six of water. So it's like looking back. I feel like this is looking back to what, like how things were, and then just just realizing your progress that you've made and moving forward. Mm-hmm. Understanding that, yeah, you know, that was something good. I do kind of miss that person, but I don't have to be afraid to admit what I've done because that's no longer who I am. And I'm happy that that person's happy. And I'm not afraid to start over. I'm not afraid to start over because I feel like, you know, something, something else good will come my way. I've, I've made the change. I've done the work. So this is just here to tell you to just feel, you know, feel assured that that spirit will always support you for your highest good. It will always be there to help you. The spirit will never turn its back on you. You don't have to feel like, like you are feeling some form of loss with this, you know, this nostalgia here that you're having, this this uh, romanticizing about this person, this old flame. You are thinking about the good old days, and you know, but it's also reminding you of what's out there and what's available, and 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 reminding you to stay in your higher power, your highest, your your highest self, so that the next time, if there is a next time that this comes your way, this divine love comes your way. You don't let it slip through your fingers. Okay? All right, Pisces. So that's your reading. I hope it helps.